channel. In today's video, I want to give you some tips on how you can update your front door space just like an interior designer. I actually want to make this into a series so that I can give you tips and tricks and little things that you can incorporate in your front door space that are super easy and very affordable so that you can start to transform this part of your home and absolutely fall in love with it again. As a designer, this is one of my favorite places to decorate and update in my personal home every single season. And you guys are always asking for the best way to update your front door wreath or update your mats or what you should use. So I kind of want to start this larger series so that you can reference these videos whenever you're ready to make changes in this area. I think maintaining and updating the front door decor of your home is not only super fun, but super important because it's the entryway to your home. And I think that there's nothing more enjoyable than walking into a home that is pre-decorated before you step in the front door. As the owner and as a guest, I really enjoy outdoor decor. And if you're someone that lives in a neighborhood, of course, having a nice front door decor is something that you definitely want to strive for because everyone can see the space easily. So one trend that has become super popular in the past couple years is layering your front door mats. I really enjoy this and whoever thought of this was honestly a genius because of the way that it creates more of a complex decorated space. And I want to give you some tips on how to layer those mats effectively because I see a lot of people making very common mistakes that I don't want you to make. Let's talk about mat sizing. And this is where I'll see a lot of people turn astray as they choose the wrong size for either the single door or the double door. So I kind of want to talk about both of those individually because they do have their own aspects and you don't want to mix the two. So let's talk about your standard single front door. It's what I have in my home and 90% of you is probably what you have as well. Whenever you're decorating the space, you want to start with what is more than likely a two by three standard size doormat. If you go to Walmart, Target, Amazon, that's gonna be the size that you will most likely see and it's gonna be perfect for a standard single size door. Now, if you have a double, you'll have to wait for later in this video. We're only talking about single doors right now. You definitely wanna start with a two by three front door mat. Now let's talk about the rug that goes underneath that standard size mat. And this is where I see a lot of people run into problems is because they buy a rug that is way too large for their front door area. Okay, so here's a great example of someone that used a mat that's a little bit too large for a single door area. You can see that they do have the standard size two by three on top, but overall the weight just seems off and the decor just seems a little bit unfinished because of all the dead space unused space on this larger mat. Let me show you the difference it makes when you insert a mat that is relative to the size of a standard door mat and how it really just, it just looks better, trust me. Here are some great examples of people layering those front door mats correctly. I think that you can instantly tell the spaces seem more complete, they seem more decorated, and there's not a lot of dead space in this area, which is not what you want in your front door space. Okay, so now let's transition into decorating a double front door. If you're someone who has a double front door, I want you to start thinking about the front doors as a whole and not as a single door that you use. Where I see a lot of people run into a common problem when decorating their front door space that has the double doors, which is so gorgeous and I'm so envious of you, is they only put a very small two by three front door mat in front of the door that they come out of. By doing this, you're really throwing off the symmetry of that front door space, which is something you wanna lean into in this area. And honestly, if you have a double front door, I'm just gonna assume you have the money to invest in a larger area rug and a very horizontal, large front door mat. If you go big in this space, it will really help to play into that symmetry and make the entryway to your home just seem so grand and beautiful. I'm so envious of you. Whenever I'm decorating front doors in general, I always lean into symmetry. It just makes decorating so much easier. And if if you are trying to decorate your front door space for the first time, just buy twos of everything and trust me, you will not be steered wrong. It's what always looks best. Okay, now let's talk about choosing the right front door mats to layer on top of each other. I like to keep this space very traditional, very timeless, and I try to avoid colored front door mats or painted front door mats that have a lot of different colors on them because they always age a lot faster and honestly, they just don't look as good. I like to keep the writing and the text very minimal. I like something that says welcome or your front door, or your last name, but Otherwise, I'm not gonna recommend something that has like flowers all over it or something like that because then you have to kind of play to the color scheme of the front door mat. And honestly, it's a lot easier to decorate with something that is very traditional and very timeless and it will last you so much longer. As for the mat you're gonna be layering underneath, I just say keep it neutral and find some sort of pattern. If you add a pattern, again, it adds another layer of accent that really helps to pull the space together and make it a little bit more visually interesting, which is why I always go for like a geometric or a striped pattern. I don't really like the checkerboard pattern. 
just because it's been so overdone. But if that's something that you love, by all means, do the checkerboard. But I'm gonna show you some different examples of front door mats that I pre-layered for you and how great they look. So if you're in the market for that, check out this. I prefer things like this, a cream, a very neutral rug underneath, and then something very simple on top. It's easy to decorate with plants and planters around the space. And it's something that I can use in season after season and not feel like I need to update it. I need to clean it constantly. And it's just what works best for my home. If you're in the market and ready to update your front door space, definitely check out my pre-made combos. They're all from places like Target, Walmart, and Amazon. Very affordable and accessible so that you can easily update your front door space just like an interior designer. I hope all those tips helped. It was really fun to get back into long form content again. I'm trying to make this more of a regular thing on my channel. So definitely keep following along because I want to make a part two on different wreaths and what you can use in your front door area.